What's going on internet? This is Hacked from Out of Haven. Today we're going to show you real quick how to set up your controller or your fight stick in Street Fighter V for the PC using an application called X360CE. Now for those who don't know what X360CE is, basically this is an application that will emulate strokes, key inputs for controllers. So basically what will happen is with Street Fighter V, as you well know, that a lot of the controllers that use key inputs don't work simply because, well, I don't know why. We'll, we'll have to ask Capcom why it's not working. But anyway, this controller application, this emulator will allow you to use those joysticks and those game pads on your uh, Steam uh, copy of Street Fighter V. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, as you see in this tutorial, you have to download this application called X360CE. And since Street Fighter V is a 64-bit application, you must download the 64-bit uh, download, which you'll see in the link below. Once you go ahead and do this, all you have to do is simply extract that file to where Street Fighter 5 is. Now, unless you've actually made some changes to your file structure, it should always be under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 5 again, Binaries, and then finally Win64. Now, once you do that and you extract it, you'll see that your screen looks just like this. Well, Street Fighter 5 and X360 CE there. Now what you want to do is click up, actually stop, before we go any further, make sure your controllers that you want to set up are actually plugged into your machine. Now for this demonstration, I've plugged in both the Hori Fight Commander 4 and an old Mad Cat's Fight Stick for the uh, PlayStation 3, which doesn't work still, we're still testing that, but I want to show you that it does recognize it. So go ahead and click the application, and what's going to happen is it's going to load up and it's going to say, hey, X input 13 DLL is not found. This file is required for emulator to function properly. Do you want to create this file? Yes. So click create. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at your computer now and look at everything that's plugged in. So as you see, it found my fighting commander 4. Now what it's asking me to do is it says, hey, do you want to go to internet and look for a settings already or do you want to go ahead and do it manually? Since this is pretty um, broad and new, a lot of people have already started thumping out uh, configuration files for this. So go ahead and just hit search internet. It's going to go out and say, okay, I found one for Street Fighter 5. It's going to hit finish. Now, as you see, if you have a Fighting Commander 4 or any dual modded stick, it's going to come up and say, hey, I found another one. This is because this is for a PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. So it found both flavors. So I'll go ahead and tell it, to, yes, go ahead and look for it again. And then next, it will say, hey, I found your Mad Cat's fight stick. And we'll do the same thing for this. Now, at this point, we're pretty much finished. As you can see, it has three different lit up. Uh, section for my controller. So if I click it, I'll see it has my Fight Commander 4, my Fight Commander 4 again, and my Mad Cat stick. So what you can do now is you can go in and you can either accept the defaults and hit save and close it out, or you can click on a button such as this one and hit record. And what it'll do is it'll say, okay, I want to map X button to that. So say I want to change that and say circle. It now took my new map. So now my circle button is my left trigger and vice versa. If you don't want to go ahead and, um, change that you can just go back and just clear and everything will be gone again at this point you're going to want to head and just reset it or just blow away the config by closing out its application and just clicking on the two files that were created and do it again that's if you want to go ahead and record files I mean this is a lot easier to just blow it away than just you know Smack your head against the wall a couple hundred times trying to figure out which way is the best way. Just blow it away if you screw up. It's just two seconds of work. But for the most part, the configuration is pretty solid. As you can see now, as I'm using the controller, I will go back to control one, you know, up, down, left, right. All my buttons are being mapped. So I can use this in Street Fighter V now. So pretty much what you want to do is just tell it to save and then close it out. And as you can see, it created the new DLL and it created the uh, input file or the configuration file for the controller. So basically now all you have to do is fire up Street Fighter V and your controller or gamepad will be recognized. Alright guys, so go out and go play some Street Fighter V in your PC with your old trusty controller or, or fight stick in hand. And don't blame us if you get, if you get bodied. We just said we show you how to get the controller working. We didn't tell you we make you better in the game. Alright guys, this is Keith from Not a Haven. We'll talk at you later. Peace!